hello guys welcome to the youtube channel for mania so in today's video i am going to review each and every new features of the one ui 2.1 update on the galaxy s9 plus actually i have already made a quick review of what are the new features that were going to the galaxy s9 plus so in today's video i am going to explain each and every new features with the live demo so guys let's start so as you guys can see my galaxy s9 plus is running on the latest one ui 2.1 you guys can see and it's on 1 june 2020 security patch so guys let's start from the quick share and music share so actually quick share is exactly like the wi-fi direct so enables us to transfer files uh, from one phone to another via wi-fi so it's fast and convenient but it is very fast and easy uh, via quick share so actually if i have to send a large a file from one phone to another so i will show the live demo right now so guys on the s9 plus actually i have taken two files one of 2.41 gb and another file of 1.38 gb and i am clicking share so total is 3.80 gb and i am turning the quick share on this one so the quick share is turned on so you can enable it from the notification panel itself if i turned off quick share it will be gone if i click share now you can't see the galaxy s10 plus over there and i am enabling the quick share on the galaxy s10 plus and you, now you can instantly see the Galaxy S10 Plus over there. Just a single tap is enough. Then it automatically allow a permission. And accept. And the file size is 3.80 GB. You can see it faster speeds. You can see it much faster than the third party apps like the extender, share it or not. You can see the transfer speed. That means 3. 380 more MB is already transferred. You can see the progress bar over there. It's going on much faster than all the third party apps. So it's almost like, like the Wi-Fi that we have already been used, but it's more convenient than that. It's uh, 60 percentage is over. So that's a nice feature to have quick share. So first it was introduced in the Galaxy S20 series later coming to the Galaxy S10 Plus via 1 UI 2.1 and finally on the Galaxy S9 Plus 1 UI 2.1 update. So it's nice. And the next feature I'm going to tell you is about music share. So let's it finished. 81% and it's going on. So fast 3.80 GB is being transferred almost done and 96 97 98 99 and it's done so guys you can see the 2.4 gb file and 1.4 gb files so fast and convenient so this is the first feature and next is the music share feature so actually uh, music share features allows us to share our galaxy buds with multiple phones actually i will show you right now so guys, actually now the, my Galaxy Buds is paired with the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now you all need to do it. Go to the music share and share devices with everyone. It should be selected by default. It will be contacts only and share devices with everyone. And now all you need to go to the Bluetooth and then wait. So you can see uh, the like via phone mania s9 plus you can see a shared bluetooth logo over here you can see on the galaxy s10 plus it's not like the normal ones it's appeared it will be a shared one you can see and now just tap on this one and you you get instantly you get a confirmation whether whether you want to accept its connection you just click accept see it's now both connected see both connected to the galaxy buds now you can play uh, uh, music from both. So if you are playing one one Bluetooth, two phones can act control this same uh, Galaxy Bud. So that's a nice feature to have if you are in multiple phones and want to control your Bluetooth speaker and all. So that's a great feature to have. Now the main features are going to be in a camera. So let's go to the camera. So guys, this is the camera on both. We do get a new feature called single take feature. So actually single take feature basically uses our both cameras and take multiple. So you can see uh, pictures, smart drops, filtered photos, short videos, random videos, and it will uh, actually capture the perfect moment with some uh, random videos and photos. Actually, we will capture the perfect moment. So that's what the single take feature does. So that's the first feature. 
then the next is on the more we can see the pro video mode you can see this is the pro video mode and the galaxy s10 plus are single take and this is the pro video mode actually pro video mode allows it's a pro level videography actually we can manually adjust the iso you can see that just a manually adjust the iso then we can adjust the temperature tint contrast saturation highlight and shadow apart from that we can also adjust the white balance auto focusing levels and uh, so on and so this is a nice feature to have who you use your phone as a pro videography and all so it's up on you guys so this is one thing it's arrived extra on the galaxy s9 plus along with the single take feature which uses our both cameras and take random uh, videos and photos so guys i will quickly show a uh, single take feature example so this is a single take feature so just a single photo then you can see along with that we are getting another photo another video of eight seconds then another photo much more ultra wide then another photo another one then another fast forward like video then another photo again a random video again another photo and again a color filtered photo so you can see this is all capable with the help of the single day feature so you can capture the per perfect moment with multiple photos and videos so that's basically the, the single take feature does and while comparing the cameras with the galaxy s10 plus and the galaxy s9 plus actually we do get almost all the features but we miss some minor features called the live focus video it is missing on the galaxy s9 plus actually it uses our software algorithm to detect the depth and uh, create a depth field effect of videos so it's missing on the galaxy s9 plus even though the galaxy s10 plus didn't have a toy viewer to accurate accurately measure the depth focus but it still have the live focus video with the help of uh, software algorithm so it is also possible to have on the galaxy s9 plus but some due to some reason they just skip it on the galaxy s9 plus and the next feature is on the video we are getting a super steady mode on the galaxy you can see super steady on the galaxy s9 plus we also miss the super steady on the galaxy s9 plus so that's another feature so it was introduced in the galaxy Note 10 plus and later it's coming to the galaxy s10 plus y update or something like that then I, in addition to that we are getting some ar emojis and also that's a, a new one so actually we can pan around the situations and we can create drawings and all so it's a, like so just pick up any pen and you can just let's do this and you can see it will be like that one or we can select any others like see and it will be just randomly you can create any anything like this one see so that's what they do then we have some minor updations in the keyboard gallery actually that's not uh, much to tell but i will just quickly go through that keyboard feature so guys actually now i am in keyboard so just over here i'm going to type and you can see three dots over here and you can select translate so you maybe need the net connections and all for translating and all so you just click translate and uh, it will be loading over there And upon translate, you can select multiple options. You can see many options over there on translation. So actually, I have selected the English to Malayalam. You can see Malayalam is selected. You can translate to any of them. And actually, I am going to type, Hi, how are you? And I just type, and then I'm just going to press done. Hi, engane yundu. So it will be instantly translated to another language. Anyways, I am going to text another one. Hello. How are you? And then again press done. Hello, Ningal Kasuga Mano. So it will be instantly translated. You don't need to go to your uh, Google and type Google Translate and then translate and also it's so fast and convenient. Actually, I just love that Samsung introduced this one inside the keyboard itself. And uh, along with that, Samsung has some minor uh, gallery updates and all because sorting, much more sorting algorithms and all. So, but this was the basic and the important features that come to the Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, in the one UI 2.1 update and actually i will be making much more videos to comparing the galaxy s10 plus and uh, other videos so hope you subscribe to this my channel and stay tuned thank you guys thank you very much